Hey guys, I'm Kyle and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Wonderlog for beginners. So let's get started. So here we are and first things first you want to go into your browser and go into wonderlog.com this is the spelling and then once you are here you would have the option to get an app if you would like to do it in your mobile or your smartphone but in this tutorial we'll just be going with the web version right here so we're gonna click here on start planning and from here you can now assign a location where you want to plan a trip so you can go for Japan right here so for example you want to go to japan and then you can go for japan or you can go for the region right here or a city or whatsoever right here but in this case i'll just go with the country japan and i'm gonna go for the date on my trip so let's say i will be here for 17 july 17 up to 22nd maybe something like that and from here you can also invite your trip mates right here you can uh, sign up with Facebook and Google in order to connect with them or you can just sign up with the email and password right here and you can set the privacy to public or private or friends depending on who you would want to view this trip now that you have done that then now you can click here on start planning and from here you would need to log in or register first if you don't have an account so in my case I'll just be signing up with Google right here since I'm already signed up then I am now right here into the dashboard of Wonderlock. So from here, as you can see, it is Japan right here because we have selected Japan earlier. So right now it says trip to Japan, but you can also customize this right here. So this is my trip to Japan, maybe something like that. And you can also customize the date again right here if you would like to change that. And now we will be discussing this this one first at the left side you can see these menus right here we will be discussing that one by one so the first one here in the overview is the explore one so this is where you would get your fyp or the things that are recommended to you if you're planning a trip to japan like for example right here uh samantha simmons japan guide for a trip here in japan so as you can see the author right here let's say uh we would want this one right here so you can open this in a new tab right here and actually you can click here and then once you click on that, uh, it would now load right here. So let's just wait for that to load. And here it is. As you can see, this would be the guide. And then you would have some tips, some welcomes. You can uh, read it right here. So this is a, just a guide for you if you're planning a trip right here. And this is uh, written or uh, produced by Samantha Siemens right here. So yeah, the, the Explore page is quite useful if you're a complete beginner about the place. And then the next thing is you want to go into the notes. So from here, these are the notes. This is where you would want to put the things that you would like to remember here about the trip. So you could just write anything right here. And then next is the places to visit right here. So here in the places to visit, you can actually go add a place right here. And let's say you want to go for Tokyo and you want to visit the Tokyo Tower, for example, right here. So you want to click on that. And now you would have the Tokyo Tower right here and it would be marked in your map right here. And next is you can also add more places right here and then you would have suggested places. And then you can also add here, like for example, you want to go for restaurants right here. You want to bookmark your restaurants right here, then you can add a place. So for example, you want to go for Tokyo uh diner maybe something like that then you would have this for example this one and then you can just um, get it right here and it would also appear here in this map and then you can also attach something like here but you would need a subscription or premium subscription for this one but you can also add a cost so for example you have a certain budget for this place for example you would like 20 dollars right here and you can also customize the dollars into any currency that you want if you would want to and then you can categorize this as whatever you want so in my case i'll just go with food since this is a restaurant and then you can add a description and then who would pay for this one you can go for yourself or you can also split it if you are in a group then you can also have uh, um, everyone right here or certain individuals in your group and the date also you can also set the date right here let's say 18 and click on save and then it would now be bookmarked right here and you can always add a note right here to that place if you would want to note right there 
And then the next thing is you can add more right here. Like for example, you may you might want to go for rides. Then you can just uh, add a place for your rides and so on right here. So yeah, you can always add a new list. And then the next thing is the itinerary right here. So this is basically where you will be uh, organizing your days. As you can see right here, you have all the days that you have indicated on your trip. So this is from 17 to 25th right here. So I have changed the date right here because earlier I set it 22nd. So from here in this day, you can add something right here, what you want to uh, do for this day. So you can add some items right here and so on. And you can also book a hotel right here if you don't have any lodging yet or any place for accommodation. You can click on book hotels or you could click here on this icon. This is also the book hotel icon. And from there, you can book the hotels and you can go for um, Tokyo Hotel, maybe something like that. Hotel right here or you can just go for tokyo for this one and then you can search for uh the date right here and there are rooms and guests that you would like so you can go and customize that once you're done with that then you can click on search and then uh wonderlog would provide you the accommodations that they would recommend to you right here so let's just wait for this one to load and here it is these are the accommodations and you can see the prices right here and you can also see it here in the mac um, in the map where it is located right here so yeah that is basically how you do it in wonderlog but if you have already booked a hotel or accommodation then you can just also enter it right here so for example here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for example here in the thursday you can actually go here and click here on book hotel and click on add already booked hotel right here click on that and then you can go for uh the name right here of that certain hotel so you can go for tokyo and let's say this one right here and then the the dates that you are booked then you can go here and then uh, maybe something like that and then now here it is so yeah that is basically how you do it and then the next thing is now that you know about the itinerary, you can add a place, you can also add notes, you can basically just add something for every day so that you would know what to do in every single day of your trip. And then the next thing is the budget right here. So this is where you will be setting your budget. You know, so you can go for set budget and let's say your budget for this trip is uh, $5,000. So you can click on save. And then right here, and then you can add an expense right here if you have some uh, something that you would like to pay for, maybe $400 for, um, let's go for car rental right here and click on save and you can add description and then you can uh, set who would pay it or you can go for a split right here and the date right here and click on save once you're done and then you would have it all right here and then you can see how much you have spent so far depending on the budget that you have and you can always add a trip mate right here or you can also go for the share button right here if you would like to have other people join in to managing the trip right here in wonderlog and yeah that is basically it on the menus right here and you can also do the undo and the redo button right here in case you have made a mistake you can also do this this is quite convenient and yeah that is basically it on how you can use wonderlog for beginners i hope this video helped you out thank you for watching